What is the dumbest idea you have ever had that actually worked? So it was my mom's birthday, we are barbecuing and we got her to stay inside and prep food so we can decorate the front with balloons and streamers and what have you. Well we got the whole thing done in secret as hoped, but then we realized there was no way we could get all the leftover decoration material and balloon pump inside without her noticing. Now there are two ways into our house, the back door that leads into the garage and then into the kitchen where mum was, and the front door which is visible from the kitchen sink. So, I told my brother I would go in from the back door and distract her while he brought the stuff in through the front, and down the hall past the kitchen. Once I got in the kitchen it had occurred to me that I had no plan of attack so I legit just said, hey mum look at this dance I made, and started like swaying and bopping up and down and doing jazz hands and going, la la la. Mind you, I am like 17 years old in this scenario. So she's just watching me and when bro comes in and is sneaking through the hall behind her with all the stuff, I keep telling her, wait it's about to get good, and she kept watching in confusion. The second he was in the clear, I stopped and said, okay that's it, and that was that. We succeeded. Edit, wow. Thanks for the gold, it's my first award smiley face. In my freshman year of college, my grades were really not great. And my parents were really strict about getting good grades. When my dad asked to see my grades, I panicked and did the inspect command on the computer where you can change typefaces on the screen to read different words and letters. So I changed all of my shitty grades to good grades. My dad was so happy that I did good my first year of school. He asked me to print my results. I did, and turns out he had to send them to our car insurance company for a good student discount. Ultimately, I committed insurance fraud by accident. But I got the discount. Dressing like a redneck to pick up chicks. Went to college in the south but the guys there were all very preppy. I thought because a lot of the girls grew up in the south, they would be drawn to more of a redneck vibe that not many people on campus had. So I bought a camo fishing hat. Literally had three girls start conversations with me that day. I used to know a guy who, every week, would order his Saturday night curry for delivery while sitting in the pub and then walk over the road to the curry house and get it and himself delivered home. This went in for about 10 to 12 weeks. One week, we were sitting having a pint and the owner of the curry house walked in, took his order, and had him picked up from the pub, he said it was easier for everyone concerned. I forgot to bring a resume to a job interview, but I had an index card in my bag. I cut the index card in half and wrote my name, my contact info, and creative problem solver in my best handwriting and gave a copy of my business card to both the interviewers. I got the job. A storm broke a limb on a tree hanging over my house in my backyard, but it was still hanging on by a few splinters. I didn't want it to fall, and it wasn't in a place where I could use my ladder to get to it. So I found some rope, tied a brick to it, threw the brick and rope over the limb, made a crude rope swing, and swung and pulled at the branch until it finished breaking. It wasn't until I was using the chainsaw to cut it up that I realized how many times during my stupid idea I could have easily hurt or even killed myself. When I was younger I got called into HR because I drew a very detailed picture of a penis. It was really really good. The HR meeting happened like a week after I drew it and my only defense was, I don't recall doing that, do you happen to have the picture? It might jog my memory. They didn't have it of course because I had it, and because I didn't confess they couldn't do shit. Investigation results inconclusive, have a nice day. I once faked being sick when I was in middle school and told my mom I had a sore throat and felt a cold coming on. She took me to the doctor and it turned out that I did, in fact, have strep throat lol. Put Jesus in his Wi-Fi password in church. It worked. I hated my math teacher and she was making us do a project on patterns even though we were in 7th grade, so my pattern was a series of increasingly longer sideways penises. She didn't even notice and I got an R. Our power was out due to a storm. I had a camp stove to use for boiling water to make a coffee pour through, but I couldn't use my electric grinder for the coffee beans. I tried fashioning a mortal and pestle but it was taking too long. So, I put the coffee beans in a couple of Ziploc bags, placed the bag right behind a car tire, then ran over it back and forth a couple of times to crush the beans. Worked like a charm. Asterisk edit to add lol it took reading through a few comments but now I see I wrote mortal and not mortar. 
A friend and I once snuck 15 people into a warp tour by giving them some bracelets from a party supply store and clipboards full of paper. Walked up to the side gate and said we were with Rock the Vote. The security guard waved us right in. Edit, thanks for the silver. When I was young and broke I bought a sofa from a used furniture store. I had no way to take the sofa home. I went to a used car lot a couple of blocks away and took a truck for a test drive. In college I was taking a class that required me to purchase an online textbook and workbook that was registered under your name, basically ensuring that each student would have to buy a new online copy each semester instead of buying used textbooks. I had a friend who took this class a semester before me so we came up with the idea to message customer service and explain that I had recently gotten married, so my last name had changed, and I legally changed my first name from my friend's first name to my first name and I would need them to change it in their system. It totally worked and the rep even congratulated my on my marriage. I used a soap bottle as a makeshift sink plunger. We had a noisy rotating rooster weather vane, loud enough to keep people awake on windy nights, despite having been lubed. So I filled the hole the rooster rotates in with Crisco, even though people said it was a dumb idea and wouldn't work. Never had to lube it again because the Crisco didn't break down like other lubes. Was really really desperate to leave past employer after 15 years. Had been applying and interviewing and striking out. Finally got an interview at a place where, at the time, I felt, meh, I am not really sure this is right for me, but anything is better than where I am at. Instead of prepping for the interview, rehearsing answers, etc., I pulled an office space. I was cocky, brash, unconcerned, made it seem like I was happy where I was at and didn't really care if I got the job or not. They called me back the next week and I waited a week to return their call. Same deal with the second interview. When they offered me the job, I hemmed and hawed, said I needed to think about it really hard, and that it was a big move for me, etc, etc. I came back and demanded well over $15,000 above what they were offering in salary. They accepted. Got a really long drill bit stuck in a piece of thick wood, butcher's block. I tried everything I could think of to yank it out. My solution that ended up working for me was attaching the drill bit to a chain, put the chain on my truck, and have a piece of wood kind of stuck between two branches of a tree. I drove off slowly and it popped right out. Edit, to the many wondering on how I hooked up the bit to the chain, the drill bit was a long spade drill bit. The end sticking out of the block was long enough that I could bend into a little hook. Attached the chain to the hook, bent the hook in a little further, and ta-da. It was now another link in the chain. There was a swarm of hornets that had made a nest under the front of our porch with only one specific narrow entry in or out. Spray wouldn't work and it was right under our front door, so had no way to keep exterminating them. Then I realized, why not wearing blades of metal? We did have an old 50s metal fan and I could maybe blow them away from the entrance so they had no way to get in. The unanticipated effect was that it worked, though after a few hours had created a civil war battlefield of dead or dying hornets piling up like a zombie tower in World War Z. Every few moments you'd hear thunk as another hornet fell into the trap. So satisfying. Not my idea but my mom's. I dropped one of my earrings and couldn't find it so she threw my other earring knots the floor and it happened to land next to the first one. Bobcat tire blew during a job. Had another tire, but no jack. Position the bobcat behind a dump truck. Bobcat then tries to lift the ass end of the dump truck. Dump truck hella heavy. Bobcat lifted itself instead. Tire changed and back to work. Bet my husband I could fix the dent in the car with a plunger. It worked. Edit. It is clear I should have used a massive suction dildo instead. Till. Wearing a motorcycle helmet while snow blowing. I did it because I missed riding, it kept my face warm and when snow would fly back at me the visor would protect me. Using a sewing needle to remove a bit of dirt that was making one of my records skip. Bear in mind my hands are shaky as hell so it was certainly very tense and there was the danger of fucking up the whole thing. Edit, thanks to everyone who gave advice on how to clean records less dangerously. Far from the dumbest working idea in the thread, but I once got an extra day to work on a video project in high school by coming to class with a video that was just a quarter second of blackness, eagerly volunteering to go first, then acting confused and scared when the file didn't work. 
The teacher took pity on me and told me to just bring it the following day, and I got to finish it that evening and still got full credit as if I did it on time. Real estate told me I had to have the carpets professionally cleaned, wasn't in the contract, or I'd lose my $800 bond. I did some research and found out I could become an accredited carpet cleaner as there are no official licensing boards in my state. So, I did what any sane person would do. I paid the $85, did the online course and got my certificate. Registered a business name, ABN etc etc. All free. Handed the property management a copy of my accreditation and an invoice for services. I became a professional carpet cleaner and launched a vacate cleaning business that is still going six months later. Edit to add, I did clean the carpets. They claimed I didn't and required a professional cleaner's invoice as proof. So I gave them the proof. I did not charge the real estate agency, it was a copy of the invoice they claimed to require. I do professional housekeeping and cleaning for vacating a property at the end of lease to inure you get maximum bond back. I help people who are being unfairly treated by the property management and advise them on what steps to take in regards to cleaning, repairs etc. With the return of the bond, and some smart shopping, I was able to purchase my own equipment to continue the job, I then claimed those costs back on tax. I wrote this and fell asleep so waking up to a bunch of silvers and a gold is pretty damn cool. See thank you reddit and your love for spite. When I was like 7 years old I was playing in my back garden with those incredibly bouncy little balls you got, just bouncing them high off the house and letting them bounce randomly before trying to catch them, as you did. One time I went for this huge throw off the wall and it bounced crazily off various surfaces so fast I completely lost track of it. So my 7 year old logic was to stand back in the same place and throw another ball the same way. I watched it bounce this way and that about 10 times before finally hitting a plant and coming to a rest in a flower bed. I went over to pull back the foliage and sure enough there were both balls literally lying touching each other in the mud. At the time I was like, yep, makes sense, but over the years since then I've often thought about it and how the hell it worked. Consider subscribing, 